Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley says that the construction of the BP Shell solar project would benefit TNT significantly, where natural gas saved from power generation could be sold on the petrochemical market. Government, along with BP and Shell, turned the sword for the construction of solar park at Brechin Castle on Wednesday. Dr. Rowley noted that it is important for the country to take this necessary step as the world transitions to solar energy. If this project was in Tobago, it would have satisfied 100% of the electrical power consumption in Tobago. That is the scale of this project. Even though it's just about 10% uh, of our national consumption. When constructed, the Prime Minister said government would have to make changes to the regulations to allow both businesses and residences to feed back into the power grid. Be it at businesses or at homes, that the arrangements are made to encourage them to sell their surplus power into the grid. And what that will do is contribute to the reduction in generation at the um, and tech power gen end and see everybody in Trinidad and Tobago who is prepared to make that investment contributing. And Public Utilities Minister Marvin Gonzalez noted that the project will supply a significant amount of power while also reducing this country's carbon footprint. It involves the construction of this 92.22 megawatt solar plant in the vicinity of this Brechin Castle and 20 megawatt solar plant in Orange Grove. The estimated energy expected to be delivered to the electricity grid from both plants is approximately 265 million kilowatts per hour per year. This will in turn reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 150,000 tons annually. Dr. Rowley said he is confident battery and solar energy will become cheaper in the coming years, pointing out that by then TNT would have already been a part of this type of technology.